Hi guys, so after coming across a little problem um, removing liquid latex masking from some glasswork here um, the glasswork actually um, seemed to not have been glued correctly maybe or it was just weak um, probably the first one knowing me and they kind of pop through um, so it left me with no choice but to fill these two holes there's no way I'm going to get uh, the piece out uh, this is all sealed together so yeah a little bit of a muck up um, on this Lancaster model um, but uh, we'll um, see what we can do to rectify it now I'm just using basic body filling uh, techniques that you'd probably do on a car you know what I mean so um, there's only a little area it's only it's isolated it's not a major part so what I've, first, what I've done first of all is just rub back to the primer coat, um, well basically to, the, as much, to as much plastic as I could with some acrylic thinners. Um, I've smoothed it off and polished it now with a really really fine grit so you know there's no scratches there. Um, it, what, I, what It's ready for filling now so I'm going to use some model filler. Um, I have I have um, Humbrol uh, model filler. Now the thing is guys you're probably thinking, what's he using Umbral for? Well, you know, I'm a novice. I bought it and I've got some left and I need to use it all before I decide to buy some more. But obviously if, if anybody knows of any uh, any other kind of uh, fillers that I can use, please let me know. I really do appreciate any kind of feedback, you know, so that's what I'm using at the minute. Now, the um, Airfix Umbral site, I always recommend to add a few drops of uh, liquid poly as well, which is good for you know jobs I do like this stuff actually um, and with this filler as well it does kind of harden it off a little bit and it's, it makes it sand easier so that's what we're going to use it's a bit of a pain to, to, to use though and it dries really quickly so the first thing uh, really is just to mask the area off um, cause, because I don't really want to get filler everywhere <clears throat> I'm just going to mask this area off and I've got a few more little jobs to do because I use this stuff called uh, it's liquid latex. It's um, it is a, a hum roll make as well. It's called Mascol, and uh, it's all right. It does the job. However, as I'm learning still, I realised that um, I painted it on, let it dry, and I put a coat of polyurethane primer, um, well a couple of coats actually, uh, over the entire model, and. Uh, that dries really, really hard. Didn't realise how hard it dries. To be fair, um, and what it's going to do, what it's caused is when I've taken the um, the liquid latex off, it's left like a ridge of loose primer left, and I've had to cut it off. So on top of that, I, before taking off, I did put some layers of this uh, black paint on as well. So it was a bit of a Hang on now, a little bit, a little bit of a learning curve. I've decided rather than letting everything just dry rock solid, wait till it's kind of dry. Then I'm going to experiment by taking off the mask, or liquid latex at that point, um, and then putting it back on when I'm just about ready to put the next coats on, things like that. You know what I mean? So it might alleviate that issue. So yeah, you can see I've got some there, but I just want to. Just, I'm just really protecting some of that so I've got a little area there that I'm going to work with so we kind of just fill it on I am laying it on thick because there's quite a lot to uh, fill here and we'll use this card then to just smooth it off and just keep building it up like that. It might take a it's gonna take a while to dry mind before I even think about putting another coat on. But um, the idea at this point is just to Get it smoothed down as much as I can. Okay. So you can see there they are filled. Um, yes, 
we need a bit more on. I mean, I, what I'm going to do, that's just to fill the initial hole. It's, you know, the holes are about 7 millimeters um, in diameter uh, each. So they're, they're quite wide, really. There we go. Like I say, um, once uh, once it's all filled, we'll you know give it another spray, a um, little bit of primer, not much, and then uh, put the black back on. And I'm confident that it uh, it'll work out all right. You know, like I say, I'm learning, so if it doesn't work all out all right, then at least I know that this method doesn't work, and then I learn from mistakes. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a, in a short while once it's dry. So the filler has been uh, left long enough to dry solid now, um, it's definitely going to need um, another covering but um, before we do that what we need to do is uh, just kind of sand it down. So I've got some uh, different sizes of uh, grit here, some medium coarse, I've got a fine fine coarse and then I've got like, um, uh, like an ultra fine uh, stick for polishing. So. That's what I want to be doing now, just getting that sanded back. So you only need to be really gentle with it, you don't need to go mad. Use the medium first. Sand it back. Obviously, there's scratches in the plastic there, um, which we're gonna. This is why we need to go down the grits. Um, but it's nice and smooth, so we'll go with the fine now. Finally, we'll go for the uh, ultra fine. Use this white side first. <laughs> okay, that's lovely and smooth now can't feel any bumps or anything like that so um, we're ready now to uh, put some more filler in so I'm going to use the same kind of method as I did before we don't need as much this time with a cocktail stick okay so again just let that dry now and uh, it doesn't need any more than that after sanding down it's just a case of uh, kind of just painting repainting that area We'll put some primer over, just a little couple of coats of, uh, of primer, let that dry and then uh, we'll lay the black back on again and uh, fingers crossed it should be covered up. So the second coat's been put on and I've sanded it back again and um, it's pretty much there. I mean, yeah, I know you can you, you can see the two holes there now. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you can see um, the filler out now because obviously it's a different colour than the plastic, isn't it? You know, um, but even if this does leave a little outline, I'm okay with it because it's good shape and 
it's part of the it's part of the model anyway. It's just a shame I've had to fill the holes in, so it still could look like there's something there. But you know, there's it looks tidy. You know what I mean? So I've rescribed as well. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is um, just masking the area up a little bit better than that. So I'm ready for uh, priming then, and um, we've got some Vallejo uh, Polyurethane Service Primer. Um, only a couple of coats I need, not much at all. Um, ten drops I think will be enough, and I normally put with ten drops just a couple of drops of my uh, airbrush flow improver as well when I'm using this, because it does come through a little bit better, and I'll be spraying about 20 psi as well. <coughs> so. So, if you look really closely, let's zoom in, you can see the bumps, and that's okay. I mean, yeah, I could have maybe put another layer of filler on, um, but I've got to be honest with you, it's okay if I don't because they were there in the first place. So, you know, it could kind of look like the presence of something that was once there removed for the operation, I don't know, you know, anything. Um, but uh, what we'll do, we'll get this all covered up now. I know you can see um, a line around where I've rubbed out, but that'll be all covered up by the black now. And then the idea then is, um, once that's covered up a bit, we'll give it another couple of, you know, another top coating hole anyway, as to build it up, and that should all sort it out and incorporate it. So going to leave that for about 20 minutes 30 minutes to dry and then we'll put the uh, uh, start putting the black on I'm going to uh, clean my airbrush out um, in the meantime so we're ready to uh, start uh, um, pull it, putting the black on now I've taken off most of the mask just left that little square on because that's the area that I was working with like I say I'm going to give the bottom another spray again and before you ask yet yeah, the underneath uh, these wings and the body is already masked as well um, so again I'm going to spray it 20 psi I've um, mixed my paint already um, a, a Vallejo uh, model colour um, black I've thinned it by two to one so one part paint two parts thinner and that's airbrush thinner from Vallejo as well and then uh, like I say uh, three or four drops of uh, uh, flow improver as well. Okay, leave it at that. Let that dry. And uh, we'll take that mask off and give um, the whole bottom a, a coat then, uh, or two. And uh, it should all be blended in nicely. Fingers crossed. The underside is completely dry now. And I'm going to it's touch dry basically but I'm going to give it um, a few hour before I do anything else now let it all kind of harden off um, next steps really for me is is to carry on now I've done this little repair um, what is it going for you it's 
not too bad at all. Yeah, I think I can make it better um, the more I practice at it. Well, hopefully, I'm not giving myself much opportunity to practice, to be fair. Because if I didn't bugger it up in the first place, I wouldn't have had to have done that, you know. But I know that um, if need be, I can, you know, make make good quite easily as well, it's not, it wasn't too bad at all. So I hope you um, learnt from that if you've not done anything like that before. Um, I've certainly learnt a couple of things um, that I can take forward for uh, when I get this finished off but um, yeah. So um, thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye.